Hey, what's going on guys? Shadow here and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we're doing the top five scariest locations in Fallout 4, but this is my opinion, so if you guys, you know, don't find these locations scary, that's all right. But these are pretty creepy locations in my opinion, some of them more than others, and I don't have done witch borers on this um, at the moment, like at this top five, because that's a video for another day, but that place is definitely spooky. So let's get into it. First on the list is the University Point Pharmacy. This place is nothing special inside. Uh, there were a few ghouls you have to kill, and this is in the Vault Tech uh, DLC expansion. Vault Tech Workshop. There's another dead ghoul. This is the nice little pharmacy. It's actually quite nice in here, and you can build in here. It is a workshop. But it's when we get up here, past this destroyed washroom, with the door blocking me, that we see something very unexplainable, and that is this statue. This is probably a Doctor Who reference to the Weeping Angels, but it has a human eye in it, and that's really weird. It also has a Day Tripper cam and a Sea Captain's hat, which are... Well, the Sea Captain's hat isn't anything special, but the Day Trippers are pretty rare cam. So you know what? L let's get out of here. This is freaky. And now we have the Concord Speakeasy at number four. This place isn't scary from the outside. It's actually pretty well located. You can come in here at the base start of the game. So it's located right here on the world map, and I'll show you the local map. Although it's hard to read, there it is, the Concord Speak Easy. So that's the location on the map. So when we do enter here, guys, there are no hostiles, which is pretty good for beginner be people you know, beginning Fault 4, they can just come on down to Concord and save Preston and the Minutemen, and come on down over here beside the uranium miner and loot this place. So, entrance, you know, it's your common destroyed building. There is a basement. Nothing special in the basement. It's a nice little fridge. And then we will walk into this destroyed area, and there's another entrance from the back of the building, near the Pulowski Preservation Shelter. Uh, there is an entrance there. Up the stairs is, you know, destroyed ruggage. There's another room that's been caved in, but it's this room, I believe, that it gets freaky. Yes, three mannequins, one with a plunger and two with machetes, have killed this person in the bathtub, or we can assume. There's also a guy tripped up on, is that, that's XL, with a lady mannequin in a bed. That's disturbing. In the other rooms, there's nothing much. Just a secret little nice bedroom. And the other one is like with, I believe, a military skeleton. So maybe a military uh, official, officer, whatever the rank he was, you know, had his last moments in that room or tried holding off defenders in that room. Who even knows about the pre-war military? But that is the reason it's creepy. I personally found that frightening the first time I found that. And there's also a nice little balcony entrance with that beautiful Sanctuary Hills music playing, where you can then jump off. And this is the back alley, and over there is the Pulaski Preservation Shelter. Next up on the list is the Forgotten Church, right in the heart of the Glowing Sea. Actually at the back, near the abandoned shack, where you can get yourself a suit of X-01 power armor. Now this, this church is one of the two churches that freak me out. The other one's on the list as well. This one's just very mysterious. It is very destroyed, caved in, probably buried in rust and dirt from the, you know, the main explosion. But there's nothing really in here. There's a dungeon chest, and that's it. There's nothing else really you can loot. It's very mysterious and creepy. This place gives me an eerie vibe, and I, I could not believe, you know, being stuck in here for the rest of your life as a ghoul, but there are no ghouls here, which is surprising. Oh, you know, we got caught in a pew there. But... Another kind of jump scary thing is when we come back out of the Forgotten Church, we're ambushed by a Deathclaw. Quite an easy fight at higher levels. This character is a level 70 Brotherhood of Steel, but at earlier levels, say when you first get the Glowing Sea quest, this probably will be a difficult encounter, depending on if you murdered, you know, how easy it was for you to kill your first Deathclaw. So yeah, Forgotten Church. Pretty creepy. Let's decapitate this death claw just for just for laughs. Boom. At number two is the second church from the Glowing Sea. This is the Hope's March Pentecostal Church, located here on the map. 
near the Raider Power Armor Cave and the Atlantic Offices building, which is kind of content, but is in the game. Now, this place is full of ghouls, so come here, very, pretty highly armed at least, you know, ready for a fight, because there's tons of ghouls in this area, especially in the Glowing Sea itself. Before coming here, I ran into, like, a bunch of charred ghouls. Oh, not fun. I wasted almost 700 bullets on those guys with this plasma-infused assault rifle that does, like, 35 damage a hit, which isn't, isn't very high, but it does the job. But these ghouls have been stuck in this abandoned, destroyed, caved-in church for 200 years. Imagine if that were you. It terrifies me, the thought of being stuck in this place when the nuclear bomb hits. And that's not all. There's a collapsed bus in the entrance, which means that maybe people were getting on board the bus when the bombs were falling. It's terrifying. The bombs go off and you're stuck in this collapsed bus, mutating into a feral ghoul. It's very creepy. And just the fact that this bus is still here today with these ghouls. It, it, this encounter is pretty easy at higher levels. I don't. F I didn't get on the two characters that did play through this. I did not get any charred ghouls. The worst I got were withered or uh, is it gang gangrene ghouls or gangrenous something like that. It's weird. And yeah, there's one last ghoul at the top, and this is how you're supposed to enter. Probably not through the roof, but yeah. All in all, pretty creepy. I really dislike this location. I think almost all locations on this have ghouls. <laughs> Yes. 